Hello, I'm Congresswoman Louise Slaughter of New York, and over 20 years ago, I began working on a law called the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA. The scientists at the Human Genome Project at the NIH were just beginning to sequence the human genome. While this work had incredible potential for the advancement of medicine, I also understood that it brought new fears. Because once we could identify genes that carried risks for developing certain genetic conditions, people might be afraid of what would happen if their boss or the health insurance company knew. Would they lose their job or their health insurance? I hoped that science and public policy would go hand in hand for a change and that we would easily be able to pass a law that protected people from discrimination. Well, I was wrong. That wasn't the case. It took till 2008. 14 years after I started, seven terms. And remember that every two years, every bill dies and has to be begun again in the following January, the next term, getting new sponsors and trying to beg for hearings again. So after going through that for 14 years, it was finally signed into law. And seeing it signed into law by President George W. Bush was one of the proudest moments of my life. My dear friend, the late Senator Ted Kennedy, who was the Senate sponsor, called the bill, quote, the first civil rights legislation in the 21st century, end quote. And Dr. Francis Collins, who's now director of the NIH, compared the significance of the bill to splitting the atom. That was quite a day for me. And while Gina is well known within the community of geneticists and researchers, it isn't widely understood. And a recent survey showed that 55% of family physicians and professionals who should be trusted sources of the information about the need for genetic testing were totally unaware that GINA or any other protection on genetic information even existed. Education is the key to change that, and I am so pleased that the Personal Genetics Education Project and Map Ed's GINA quiz to avoid discrimination, know your rights, is taking place. Now, the quiz is simple, it's informative, and an important tool for educating our nation. I'm proud to be the first person to take the quiz and pin Rochester, New York on the map. Now, let's make sure that everyone knows their rights, take the quiz yourself, and share it with your family and friends. And please, folks, it took me 14 years to pass this bill. It breaks my heart that not enough people know about it. Help me out, will you? Thank you.